वेलकम बैक एवरी वन माई नेम इज़ अदनान चौधरी फ्राम टेस्ट टिटोरियल्स एंड आई एम वेरी मच हैप्पी टूडे बिकॉज आई हैव आई एम वर्किंग ऑन लॉन्ग टिटोरियल्स इन सीड ऑफ एक्शन सो देर इज़ अ लॉट मोर गुड रिस्पॉन्स फ्राम यू गाइज एंड थैंक यू सो मच फॉर दैट काइंड ऑफ गुड रिस्पॉन्स एंड आई एम श्योर एंड आई क्रिएट कम्प्लीट टिटोरियल्स अबाउट कैन से दैट अबाउट फोटो मैनिपुलेशन और photo effects whatever it is i will completely make the tutorials in front of you so you could be easily learn what we are going to create and once if there are some actions which are most most important and we can say that most trendy actions i will surely upload here so you could get freely man because this channel is for free of all free for all okay so let's start our work and in this video we will create double color exposure not only double you can reach up to you can see this example uh, this is a uh, double exposure or we can say that double color exposure you can not only reach this with this technique you can simply just reach to the triple exposure also okay and uh, just apply the images and just make a hierarchy of the layers and you will increase the triple exposure so a triple color exposure i always forget so let's start our work you will see these are some kind of basic works this is the basic work and this is the third one you can use double exposure or you can use single exposure it's your choice you can use even three as well and same side in this you can create double and triple it's a uh, same thing you just need to change some settings a little bit so let's start without wasting any kind of time so we'll choose these images so we'll close these and close this also let's just uh, get our images so i would like to use these images uh great so we'll drag them into this one style great now what we'll do is uh we will simply just uh, uh pick one of them the images like this images and the image and drag it on our basic image and we'll center this and you will see we have two images we can fix that uh, the place of these images don't worry about that let me just first apply my effect so we'll right click on this go to blending options from the blending options you don't have to do anything you just need to change this channel make sure you are on blending options channel and there we go you have the double exposure <laughs> color effect if not you can change the colors like this like this like this it's your choice okay so i would like to go with this because it looks nice you can make it look like this or look like this or turn this off turn this all off you will get this turn this off you will get this turn this on you will get these colors so it's totally in your hands if you want to uh, make this color and i i would like to go with the this color i think you know uh, this color is nice so click okay now we need to adjust the place so let me just adjust this to uh i place uh, you can see this i and i would like to match with this i so let's just zoom it in to check where is the original i so you could make i to i not thyroid sha <laughs> it's just it's just uh, i don't know what it's just but it's not a good thing not about that or otherwise the man kind angels will come here i'm not sure some pakistanis know what i'm talking about and maybe some indians also know about <laughs> because they listen about that song so sorry about that okay and i think it's nice here okay click on this check mark and let's just see if we are on right track yes we are on right track so this is the double exposure this is it and you will see this other side don't worry about that we'll just simply crop this up or instead of crop you can size this up actually like uh, like this you can make it bigger size and now you can match the setting like uh, like this i we want to match the i so there we go the i is matched now i think so there we go i is matched so you can make it look like this this is the basically uh, basic image and this is the second image which is applied on it okay now you want to make some kind of changes like to target these colors you can simply just go to selective colors and you can go to magentas you can actually control these colors from here also 
but if you don't want to control them here you can just go to hui saturations also from here you can change the overall colors like this or if you don't want to change this color just leave it default and go to masters and go to like if you see this green color so go to greens and you can just change the color of green it's not a big deal just play with the settings and you will get a lot more cool answers from here so make it more hard color or make it a little light color so and same thing you see this pink or we can say that cyan color no it's not cyan color so we could just go to this slider and we'll move it to the this color you can see that it will automatically detect these edges and it will make some colors inside that so we'll make it little little more curvy like this looks nice here so let's just magentas 2 and check what is this color. okay so we can change the color to red also it's your choice totally you can make it green also you can make it any color but i would like to go with the with this color i think it's nice look looks great let's just go to greens and i would like to change the where is green oh i forgot where are greens let's just move this to here green side and there we have green so you can also change the color of green make it a little darker but the thing it's nice here perfect look you don't need to mess these things so hide this and there we have our double exposure so you can make triple just apply another image like from here pick any image uh like uh, let's just have an example of uh, which image we should choose let's just check this one we just we are just checking okay so drag it inside photoshop we'll see now simply just go to right click click on blending options from the blending options you can change the channels there we have the triple exposure also like this there we have the triple exposure click on ok and select this layer and you can move it to the side like this or in center of this but it's not visible so let's just take it in the side and you can pop it out like uh, uh, again we uh, saturation hui saturations just select your uh, color any color like we want to change the yellows so you can change the yellow color to any color like here there we go we have triple exposure you can make as much as you want so now it's visible so we can move it anywhere else like here but it's not like it's a messy thing so as you can see that it's messing the colors so what we'll do is we'll leave it in the side and press ctrl t and size it up there we go but you can see that there are some colors are making nonsense effect on this side so we can just crop it out like this and there we have single effect and if you don't want to do that you can just increase this uh, we can say that a background like rasterizing this then we will simply just select uh, this area make a copy of it control t and then we can increase that there we have the basic effect oops sorry we cannot merge this so that's it you can make a lot more cool stuff inside that control e uh, it will uh, snapshot and we'll just apply a noise filter with the noise add noise and you can increase the noise up till where it looks nice you can see that it, it's, it's fine it's look like watercolor but we can make it two percent but if you don't want to use that you can leave it as soft color you can see that these colors are applied very very nicely and uh, what else you can do you can make the overall adjustments like uh, reds let's just apply a color overlay so it can make the whole image and blues and greens same thing you can make a lot more cool changes by applying gradient map on it don't worry about that let's just reverse this and change the gradient map color to any color like i would like to make uh, which color you want to use we should use uh, this blue color no it's not visible so like this and hide this up you can make it soft light overlay 
it's a choice but I would like to make it easy little smaller color like this or you can just turn this off and use it as it is so basically you can apply a lot more cool stuff on on this layer on this effect but the basic effect is done here uh, sorry here so you can use double exposure as well and you can use triple exposure as well so it's your choice how would you like to use it that's the technique and you can make color options I have showed you how to target these colors so you can make easily changes inside that so I hope you like this video if you found this video helpful make sure to give this video a thumbs up all the files are, all the files are given in the description bar you can free download all of these files and we will meet in our next video do not forget to subscribe and uh, never stop never depend and keep learning peace out